Hello everyone and welcome to another Ants on Tech video. On today's episode, I want to show you how you can master SharePoint flexible layouts in just minutes and how you can transform the way your SharePoint pages look like. If you don't know yet what SharePoint flexible layouts are, well, this is a new way to create awesome SharePoint pages. And the flexible layout is exactly what I have in this section over here. So in the past, you were restricted to two columns, three columns, right side bar, left side bar, full width sections, but there were no flexible sections. This flexible section has a 12 column grid system behind it and allows you to resize and move the web parts freely in the area and also stack them on top of each other. But well, better than seeing this already built is to learn how to use it and how to master this new section. So let's jump right into the instructions on how you can create your first section and how you can add web parts and how you can resize and rearrange them to create unique pages for your organization. So let's first see how you can create the flexible section it's created exactly like all the other sections that you already know from your SharePoint pages. And to do that, you just need to click in the plus icon. Uh, it will expand to say section. And at the top, there's the new flexible section with the fancy label saying new. Well, this is all we want and it's quickly here highlighted for us to use. And once you add it to the page, then you will not see anything to allow you to add web parts. The only option that you see here is the uh, possibility to make it with a bigger height. And to do that, you just need to uh, grab this area here and move it up and down and, and you will change the height for the section. You have the, the toolbar for the uh, options where from where you will be able to set a background color or a background image for uh, your section. You can make it collapsible and uh, well, you can decide then where uh, it, it goes on uh, mobile. But what we really want is to add web parts to this section and there they are nowhere to be found uh, like they were in the other section. So in the other sections, and let me just quickly uh, show you how it used to work. You, you got the plus icon and from this list of web parts, you would be able to then select the one you wanted and um, it would appear in the sections. Let's select the banner, for example. And as you can see, here is the banner. And well, inside of this section, it does not exist. So it's a different experience. For years, we spent time teaching users how to add web parts to the page without going to a menu uh, when we did the transition from classic to modern. Um, and now with flexible sections, we are back to the menu. Uh, and the web parts are available in this toolbox. They are available in reality in this toolbox for all the sections. Uh, but well, this is the toolbox from where you can get them. If you click see all, all web parts, you will be able to access to the list of all web parts that exist in your um, tenant, custom, developed and out of the box ones. And to add the web part to the flexible section, the only thing you have to do is drag and drop the web part. And when you do that, then um, it will snap to the grid and you will be able to resize and readjust the size of your uh, web part. And if you want to move it around, just click in this um, six dots uh, when the web part is selected and move the web part around and just drop it where you want it. So this is how you add web parts and this is how you resize them. Text-based web parts are easy to resize and they can snap to pretty much any size that you have in the grid, but card-based web parts are a bit different than um, this ones and they cannot use the 12 um, grid columns uh, to be uh, rendered in the page. So you can either get one third of or the full grid. And for example, let me quickly search for the quick links in here, add it to the page. And as you can see, when I resize it, it shows me uh, where I can snap it. If I drop it here to make sure that it aligns with this column, then it will go to uh, the next one. So this is 
how um, you can resize and how you can add web parts to this flexible section. There's another way to add web parts to the section if you already have them into the page. So let's say that you are transforming a page that you had already in your internet and you want to modernize how things look like and the web parts are already there. Well, then just simply drag and drop them to the section. And as you can see, I just uh, overlapped two web parts in the same area. And this is something that now you can do. You can actually put web parts on top of each other. Well, these two may, might not make uh, a lot of sense, but this is something that you can easily do. And for example, if I get rid of this here, and if I the banner over here, I can go to the list of web parts, search for the image and I can drop it over here, select an image. And well, now I can move it around uh, and make it overlap in here. And I can change my, cha my shape and I can create combinations and create other web parts by simply overlapping text images, uh, cards um, on top of each other, creating a unique layout for the page. So just to show you what I have here in this page and how it was built, let me quickly edit the page. And this has a combination of out of the box web parts and custom web parts. There's a script editor right in here. Uh, but what I have here is four web parts that are used to display the image, a text web part, and then a script editor a script editor web part because I wanted to get a pink button and, and there was no way to do that with the, the out of the box web part. So, well, this is what I got into this page, but let's say that now I don't want this image uh, to be on top of this uh, green one. Um, I can go to the web part, select this uh, arrange items uh, option and send it to the back. And this way I will move it down into the layers of web parts, similar to what exists in PowerPoint. Well, this is pretty much what you can uh, do with SharePoint flexible layouts. There's a caveat if you think that because we have 12 columns, this is fully responsive. Well, it's not. And uh, if you are building pages to be displayed in mobile, you might be surprised by the way things uh, look like in the end once they are rendered in mobile or tablet views. But for desktop, this works just fine. This is how the flexible section looks like in mobile. So I get my images right at the top. Instead of getting them overlapping each other, they are stacked and then my text at the bottom with my button and my uh, two image right after. If I change this for uh, an iPad, for example, you will see exactly the same thing. And if we change the orientation, um, then things look like the desktop. It's great for desktop, but we are not quite there yet for mobile. Still great feature, brings a lot of value to the SharePoint pages. I would love to see um, an interface to configure how things would look like in the mobile view. Uh, for now, it's not there yet, but well, you know how to create your section, you know how to rearrange things to make them look great and um, how to add the web parts to uh, the page. That's the most important thing if you want to start using flexible layouts. Well, this is a short video just to explain you how things work and most importantly, how to add content to the flexible sections. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will be publishing new videos about the flexible layouts and the new SharePoint web part soon. So subscribe to make sure that you don't miss those. See you next time. Bye bye.